In Singapore Polytechnic, we have adopted the six C's in a typical Internet of Things application. So what exactly is the Internet of Things? The Internet of Things is the interconnection via the Internet of Computing Devices embedded in everyday objects, enabling them to send and receive data. IoT systems and applications consist of one or more of the following key technologies, sensors, wireless communication, network connectivity, cloud computing, data analytics, and application. These are known broadly as the six C's of IoT. The six C's are collect, communicate, connect, cloud computing, comprehend, and create. Firstly, let us introduce what exactly is collect. Collect is the collection of data, such as temperature, humidity, brightness, GPS position etc. using sensors and microcontroller. Here are some sensors currently available in the market. The DHT22 is a basic, low-cost, digital temperature and humidity sensor. The digital signal is easy to read using any microcontroller. Next, let's introduce the MQ2 gas quality sensor. This module is useful for gas leakage detection and is suitable for detecting all kind of gases. Due to its sensitivity and fast responsive time, measurements can be taken as soon as possible. All these sensors need to be connected to a microcontroller for an Internet of Things application. The microcontroller is a small computer that collects data from different sensors and processes them into useful information for the user. It is the most vital component to an Internet of Things application. Typically, all IoT development platforms consist of a microcontroller or microprocessor that sends and receives data to and from one or more I.O. ports. There are many open source hardware platforms with hardware designs that are available for others to copy and use. Let's introduce the most well-known and popular IoT hardware around in the market. The Arduino family of development platforms was designed with ease of use as a primary consideration. Programming the Arduino is easy and interfacing with external devices are helped by the use of shields that can be easily plugged onto the baseboards. Over the years, there have been different variants of Arduino, all designed to meet different IoT application needs. Next, another popular IoT microcontroller used is the Raspberry Pi. It can be truly considered the first affordable single board computer that is easy to use for the general public. It consists of a ARM-based microprocessor that is much more powerful than the Arduino microcontroller, which allows it to run a Linux distribution. The latest version of Raspberry Pi also comes with integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Besides the above hardware, there are also platforms developed by chip and device manufacturers, such as the Siemens Symantec IoT which is a reliable open platform for collecting, processing, and transferring data in industrial IoT applications. It is ideally suited as a gateway to send data to the cloud and the IT infrastructure for the industry. Next, let us move on to the next C in a typical IoT application. To allow sensor data to reach the Internet, various transmission means, such as wired or wireless can be used. Most people are familiar with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and GPRS as wireless communication technologies. However, new technologies such as SIGFOX and LoRa allow long-range communication at a low bit rate for low-powered objects, such as sensors operated on battery. Next, the third C of a typical IoT application, Connect. Connect is the network connection, usually through the Telcos WAN infrastructure with the use of switches and routers etc. The network connection usually does not depend on the users, but on the various internet service providers instead, to connect the data collected to the internet. 
After getting your data connected to the internet, you are halfway through the 6 C's of a typical IoT application. The 4th C of a typical IoT application Cloud Computing Cloud computing is the process of using computing resources, such as storage and server applications, residing in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and etc. to store sensor data for analysis. Right in Singapore Polytechnic, we have developed our very own Internet of Things server to collect and analyze data for monitoring. My Easy IoT is a one-stop solution to analyze and predict trends in data through the power of cloud computing. Users can access their data or programs over the Internet, or at the very least, have their data synchronized with other information over the web. With an online connection, cloud computing can be done anywhere, anytime. Comprehend is the process of analyzing data collected to understand trends and visualize patterns. Using data analytics software, we are able to make sense of the data. For example, MATLAB is a popular data analytics software used in ThingSpeak cloud platform, while Power BI is another popular tool which allows you to code the analytic to be performed on the data. By processing information in a user-readable format, users can easily visualize their data using graphs for easy comparison. Machine learning algorithms can also be applied on the information collected to better understand data trends as well as detect any abnormalities or discrepancies. Lastly, Internet of Things is not complete without creating an application. One example is a mobile application. A mobile application can have multiple features, such as alerting users for any abnormalities, as well as giving users a quick access to their data from anywhere. Typically, we can use existing applications, such as Twitter or traditional SMS, to send trigger alerts directly. In some mobile applications, you can even set the threshold to trigger a specific action, such as automatically switching on relays or activating certain equipment. To recap, there are a total of six C's in a typical Internet of Things application. First, you will need sensors and microcontrollers to generate the necessary data required. Next, communication protocols are required to transfer data from one device to another. After which, data needs to be encoded and transmitted online via the Internet through Internet service providers. Users can then see their data being stored in servers that are hosted on the cloud for availability and ease of use. Analytics is then provided to convert raw data into a visual form for users to easily understand trends of data for prediction as well as abnormality detection. Lastly, to easily gain access to their information as well as value as to the existing Internet of Things platform, applications are created to alert users for any triggers that the user may set. A world where physical objects are seamlessly integrated into the information network and where the physical objects can become active participants in business processes. The Internet of Things is the future for creating smart devices or even smart nations to truly connect us all. This is Singapore Polytechnic's 6C methodology for Internet of Things. Thank you for watching.